So we're going to look at doing um, estimation or regression using uh, Weka, both the Explorer and the Knowledge Flow. In the Explorer, we bring up the data set, and then we come over to Classify, and then we have to pick those models. And, and uh, Weka is very nice to gray out anything that doesn't work for regression, knowing that you have a continuous variable to predict. So we can start by picking a multilayer perceptron, which it would be a neural network. Um, what we're seeing here is similar to the beta coefficients or the weights for each one of the um, each one of the attributes at each each no node of the neural network, and then we get reported back uh, the mean absolute error, the root mean square mean error. The smaller this number, the more accurate we are. <coughs> we then can go do maybe a all of these work. Uh, let's do. So just a regression, a regular regression. Where is it? Linear regression. And that one ran pretty fast. See, it kind of did a pretty similar to the neural network. Let's pick something else. Let's just pick a tree. There are trees that do regression. This one didn't do as well. In fact, the error was a lot higher. And that's how you do it in just regular Explorer. We can also do it in our knowledge flow. Uh, we load the file. Here we have to again assign a class like we've learned to do and tell it that it's MedV, but now it's going to know it's continuous. We're going to split into train and test to set aside some data for testing. And we'll run two different models. So I, I picked a multilayer perceptron, which is a, a neural network, and a simple linear regression. <clears throat> we have to feed it into a classifier node to uh, to see how it will and then how it did. Then we can look at the um, the model itself and then uh, the lift chart. I have two text viewers. One is to show me the confusion matrix or the classification matrix, which is I don't think it's going to work. It's going to give me the more the measures of accuracy. And then I have another one that's going to give us uh, just the coefficients of the model. So. This one coming out of the model itself, the text is going to be the coefficients of the model. This one is going to show me those measures of accuracy of the model, the performance. So we go ahead and run that. And if we go, it looks like it finished, we can look and see our results. This is um, for the linear model, the actual regression equation and the actual uh, correlation coefficient and absolute error coefficients. And same for my neural network. I can look at the coefficients for each uh, node and then the actual measures of, uh, of accuracy.